Saints, welcome back to another week of SFHS Today. I'm Reese Phelan. And I'm Mace Abraham. Last Thursday, the Alexandria House was here to discuss and raise awareness about dating violence. People were able to openly talk about the warning signs and take a pledge to prevent violence in dating relationships. Reporter Elsie Johnson and Brooklyn Stobbs went to the event. We are a part of the Youth Council at Alexander House. We're the representatives for St. Francis. Um, this is kind of just like an awareness day to raise awareness about dating violence and like give statistics on how often it happens and things like that just to raise some awareness in our school. Also giving kids the opportunity to see that there's help out there and letting them know that it's good to be in a healthy relationship. There's like the, this is a sign that we hung up and basically like if you're in an unhealthy relationship it says you know they control you and they blame you for everything and they get extremely jealous um, just things like that that can show the signs of an unhealthy relationship. Last week in the Bridge Street Singer Show Choir had its final competition in Janesville, Wisconsin where they took third place and Tuesday night they had their final season concert in the Performing Arts Center. The concert also included performances by the JV Show Choir Prima Voce and Vocalocity from the middle school. Jolie Olson and Sydney Sano interviewed some of the members about their final thoughts as the season came to a close. We had the most successful season that, we, that we've had uh, in our five short years of existence. Um, we competed five times, uh, five competitions, finished, uh, made finals at all five competitions and uh, finished as high as second at, uh, at one of our competitions. So it's been a really, really good year. The most rewarding part of the season was like the feeling that you get at competitions when you figure out that you did well or you, you learn that your hard work paid off. The most difficult part of this season was learning the dance break for our last song. It's more difficult than any of the songs and the choreography than, than I've been used to which is good because it shows that we're improving, but it was definitely more difficult. I think, well, this season we had a lot of new people, like more new people than we normally do, which isn't bad, but just like getting them to like open up. Because I remember my first year, it was like super hard for me to open up and like really perform. So I think just taking them under your wing. My favorite competition was Sioux Falls Roosevelt from last year because we won and it, well it was just a like a Cinderella story we were in third place and then we hopped up to first and it was the first competition we've ever won so it was just a great experience. Uh, my favorite was our competition at Hastings because uh, it's my alma mater and, and it's fun to go back home but the kids performed uh, just brilliantly. They did all season but uh, our, our second place finish at Hastings was a really huge deal. We, uh, we beat a bunch of groups that we've never beat before and uh, yeah, it was a really, really positive day. Well, it just, it's fun to watch the show, I mean, from when we first compete in January to the end of the season uh, in March, it's that they grow as performers so much, they're willing to take more risks, and, and they start working together, and uh, we really start to refine the show. I think everybody should do show choir, because it's just like, the experience is crazy, and it's unlike anything you could ever do. Prom tickets went on sale on March 7th and will be sold by the business department until March 24th. Tickets are $55 for seniors, $60 for juniors, and $70 for outside guests. Prom will be held April 9th. Our Coronation and Grand March kick off here at St. Francis High School, and then we will be moving over to the courtyards of Andover in Andover for our dinner and dance. So if you come down to the high school in the business and marketing department outside in the hallway, there is a sign that says prom information. And so what you'll want to do is you will want to grab a white sheet. Your mom and dad might want to see this. And this goes over just kind of the information about prom. And then your actual ticket is this yellow sheet of paper. And you will want to return this yellow sheet of paper to me. You. This yellow sheet of paper, so this is your ticket order form, needs to be returned to me by March 24th with your payment. Uh, seniors are $55, juniors are $60, and outside guests are $70. The seniors have the cheapest price because this is a gift to our seniors. It is a farewell gift to them, so we want to give them a little bit of a price break. Okay, so to go to prom, you need to be a junior or a senior at St. Francis High School. If you would like to bring somebody outside of St. Francis High School or is not a junior or senior from our school, you need to come and see me and get a pink outside guest form. 
So ninth graders are not approved to come to our high school prom. Um, we actually encourage all ninth graders to go to Mork. If you would like to bring a sophomore or somebody that, again, is going to a different school and is under the age of 21, they will most likely be able to attend with a simple fill out this pink sheet of paper with a parent signature. Ready? And some people wanted like a city theme and some wanted a diamond theme. So we just kind of compromised and came up with Diamond City. And we've been working super hard to like put everything together. And we're pretty excited about it this year. This week, we're trying a new segment that features seniors who have made a contribution to St. Francis High School. Reporter Chi Vu spoke with Lenny Polarski about his involvement in show choir and trap shooting. Um... Lenny is probably one of the hardest working kids I've ever met. Um, he's so incredibly respectful and, and he knows everything. Um, he literally knows everything about everything. He knows more random knowledge than just about anybody I've ever met. Um, and, and it's always fun to sort of pick his brain about things because he always has insight on whatever topic you're talking about and I just love that about him. That and he's a great kid. He works hard all the time. Um, well, I actually come out of his shell in the last couple of years. Uh, I think being in choir and being in show choir and, and participating in that has probably helped a little bit, but um, he's just, he's really coming to his own. He's, he's really comfortable in his own skin and um, it's been fun to watch him grow up and um, still maintain all that wonderful stuff that he had when he was a ninth grader and his respectful demeanor and, and his kindness. Um, How do you feel about being this week's senior feature? I honestly wasn't expecting it. I was told, I think, two days ago, and I was kind of surprised. I mean, I'm not really, I don't really think of myself as anybody that needs to be featured in anything, so I guess it was a surprise. What are some things that you enjoy doing? Well, I like enjoy, I enjoy spending some time outdoors, you know, hiking, hunting, you know, that kind of thing, but I also like spending time indoors, like sometimes reading, like if I have a really interesting book, I'll read that. Uh, more often than not, though, I'm usually playing video games. I know it sounds kind of a high school cliche, but, you know, good way to kill time. What are you currently involved in? Well, right now, I'm involved in show choir, and that's about it right now, but uh, in a few or a few weeks, I'll be involved in trap club, or trap shooting, so that should be interesting. What are you planning on doing after high school? After high school, right now the plan is to uh, go to UW Lacrosse and major in English and minor in creative writing. Uh, then maybe become a writer. You know, that'd be fun. What would you like other students to know? And in other words, what would you like to leave here at St. Francis when you graduate? It's a tough one. I mean, I guess it would be nice for us to kind of you know be proud of the school, even though yes, it's not the best school. It's not the biggest school. It's not the most ex most. Uh, it's not the richest school, but I mean, it would be nice to people to be, you know, be able to wear blue and white and kind of be proud of that. You know? Last Thursday was the All District Band concert that took place in the gymnasium with the theme of the joy of music. There was a lot of excitement with a large audience and hundreds of band students representing all bands in the district. Since we're on the topic of concerts, we also wanted to let you know that there is a choir concert this upcoming Tuesday, March 22nd at 6 and 8 at the high school. Tickets can be ordered for the concert at seatyourself.biz. As winter turns to spring, there, will be, there are some who will miss the snow more than others. Competitive snowmobiler Zach Gust is one of those people, and he is our five minutes of fame. Zach participates in snowcross at all different levels and in vintage ice racing. Students, celebrities everywhere, this is why you should care about five minutes of fame. I raced a 2015 ZR6000. I've been racing for about five, six years. I race snowcross and vintage sleds. I got into racing by my neighbor Joe. My favorite memory of racing is probably when I took first at ERX. This week, sophomores who completed biology in second trimester took the MCA science test. Sophomores who are taking biology this trimester will test the week of May 9th. All juniors will take the math MCA April 4th through the 7th. The reading MCA will take place on April 19th for all sophomore students. Juniors will take the free ACT on the same day. Reporters Lizzie Johnson and River Pearson spoke with Don Abraham in the Career Center to get some tips about the ACT tests. 
The ACT is a uh, college entrance examination. It is also the state standardized test that all juniors are going to be taking this year. Mm -hmm. And it's very important because um, colleges use that score to determine if you are going to get admitted to their college. Um, a, a lot of colleges also use the score to determine what kind of scholarship money you can get. So it's very important to do really well on the ACT. The difference of one point can mean the difference of thousands of dollars in scholarships. The ACT uh, for juniors this year is going to be given April 19th during school hours. Um, there's also six national dates, so if a student doesn't do well enough on the ACT, they can choose to test on one of the national dates. Does the ACT cost money? For juniors who are taking it through school, it does not cost anything. If you are going to take the ACT again, it will cost you money, $56 this year, so it's probably going to be a little bit more next year. And how do students register for the ACT? All the juniors are going to register for the ACT during school hours. Um, within the next few weeks, uh, they all will register for the ACT. Okay, so this is the Naviance login page. Every student will have their own um, login and password, username and password. Your username is your grad year, your first three letters of your first name, your first three letters of your last name, and then your password is your birthday. Six digits, no slashes or dashes, month, month, day, day, year, year. And then you'll click the login uh, button. Once you log in, this is your home screen and this is what you're going to see. It's going to have your name up here. Right over here under the left hand side is resources and that's where you're going to click on Naviance Test Prep. Once you click there, it's going to bring you to your own personal Naviance Test Prep. A couple different things I want to point out. Right here, this is very important. You have only 34 days left today to study for the ACT. This is very important that you guys really start focusing on getting some test prep done every single day if you can before that test on April 19th. How do students register for the ACT? All the juniors are going to register for the ACT during school hours. Um, you'll all be called down to the lunchroom, you'll register manually and it will all be taken care of while you're in school. If you do choose to register for the ACT at a later date um, and you want to test again, you will need to log into your ACT account. And if you have questions about that, step up in the Career Center, we can help you. In our new feature, You Ask, We Answer, Early and Emily found out which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> Well, I think we'd have to assume that since two non-chickens probably were the first uh, animals to create a chicken, I think the chicken egg would have had to come before the chicken. Ah, uh, the classic question. Uh, and I can tell you unequivocally, uh, the egg came first. Now you may wonder why, how did the egg come first? The reptiles invented the shelled cladoic egg and reptiles were around on the planet long before birds ever were. So if anyone ever asks you which came first, the chicken or the egg, you can tell them in no uncertain terms, it was the egg. Next up is the weather and the random question thing. Welcome to weather, it's Mac and Liz. Today's weather is a high of 39 and a low of 25, mostly cloudy. And Saturday is a high of 43 and a low of 27, mostly cloudy, with a little bit of sun. And Sunday is going to be a high of 41 with a low of 24 and mostly cloudy. Have a good weekend, Saints! It's the random question thing, ding! Gossip Girl. Uh, definitely Grey's Anatomy. One Tree Hill, Gossip Girl, Phineas and Ferb sometimes, American Horror Story. Sometimes I just watch some anime. I just don't know. I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of cool. Vampire Diaries. I don't watch Netflix that much, but whenever I do, I like to watch Disney Pixar movies because they're fun. Super Mario. Taylor 
Park Boys. <laughs> oh, my has to be Family Guy. Documentaries about the 1950s wars. I like cast over. I don't have that. I wish they had Spongebob on Netflix. I like to watch that 70s show. Um, they have a show on there that's made specifically for your dog to watch. Sometimes I watch that. My favorite show on Netflix is Daredevil. New season starts March 18th. Yeah, so check it out. That's all we have for you this week, Saints. If you missed this week's sports, make sure you get up to date by watching Thursday's sports show at our website or on our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Reesh. And I'm Mason. Have a great, a great weekend, weekend, Saints. Saints.